What's going on guys? Coach Brian here with Coach Chris. We're showing you how to do some battle ropes for beginners. So guys, Coach Chris here is our beginner, even though he is a veteran with battle ropes. I'm going to be walk, uh, helping him walk through just some very basic moves for all those beginners out there. So first thing Coach Chris is going to do is make sure he's got, obviously, a battle rope. He wants to position himself not too close to the rope because what we're doing is using the momentum of the rope to get the workout. Now, what you also see him here, he's not too far back, so he, has, he does have some slack in the line. Also, feet position is crucial, shoulder position is crucial, also head position is crucial. He's squaring up to the center of the rack. Good athletic stance, so that just means knees slightly bent, slight forward lean. Head is looking forward, but not up. Hands extended out, and what he's gonna be doing is taking a double whip. Both hands together, generating a nice ripple effect, hence the name double whip. Whipping the rope all the way down, following the momentum of the rope. So as you saw, Coach Chris did generate some momentum with the feet. All the movement did come from the shoulders, a little bit from the hips, but that's just because he had to get up with the arms. He's not driving the hips forward. He's not reaching up as high as he can. A lot of control going on the shoulders. That's a great starter out exercise. Another one that he's gonna be doing is a single whip. Alternating singles, ripple, uh, same ripple effect all the way down. This time he's gonna keep his arms a little closer in, like he's playing the drums. Most of the movement's coming from the elbows. Same athletic stance. He's going to knock it out. Perfect, guys. Again, he's not a beginner. I doubt yours is going to look just like that. But just like everything else, you got to practice it and it will look that good. Now, the last thing he's going to do is if you have a battle rope that's too heavy, drop down one side of the rope. You're going to grab one rope or the same rope with one, uh, two hands and do the same exercise. It is, it's, a, it's a single whip, but you're using two hands. Coming up as high as you want, but obviously not going up too high because you don't want to lose the integrity of the movement. So Coach Chris is just going to drop one side of the rope, grab the other one with two hands, and do the same thing, a ripple all the way down. All right, guys, those are the three best exercises that beginners can do using nothing but the battle rope. So guys, what you need to do is start out light, maybe about 10 reps, uh, give yourself enough rest in between doing those two. And guys, there's a whole bunch of other cool stuff that we have to show you, but that's a little more for the advanced folks. So guys, practice this, and uh, perfect it, and then try out other, other stuff. Now there's something else we'd love to give you, it's in this report right here. It's how actors get shredded. You gotta click the link, uh, give us your email, and then we'll send you this free report right away. Guys, it's awesome content, including some stuff with the battle ropes. If you're on a mobile device, you can't click this link, but what you need to do is click the little arrow under this video here. That's going to open up the video description. The top link you see, criticalbench.com slash shredded, is the link you need to click to get this awesome report. Guys, we appreciate you watching, but most importantly, guys, there's a lot of other content left to show you on our page, so subscribe to our channel, check out our other content, share us with a friend, thumbs up, also, leave some feedback, guys. We'd love to hear what you have to say about this stuff and pretty much anything in general. Guys, uh, props to Coach Chris, our beginner here. He's even sweating from doing a little baby workout. So, guys, keep watching. Thanks a lot. See you soon. See ya.